Pitbull saves Austin woman from rattlesnake. Mystery of stuff. Then you may understand the extent of a dog's loyalty. It may seem annoying when they follow you around or cry when you leave the house, but most dogs would do just about anything for their human. In fact, this pup was just a foster dog when they showed just how loyal they were to the human that was taking care of them. When Jane Taylor decided to foster a dog named Nellie, she never could have imagined how doing so would end up saving her life. While spending time on a friend's property, during a party near Enchanted Rock in Texas, Jane decided that it would be a perfect time for a hike. So accompanied by her friend Matthew Tilly and Nellie, Jane set out for an adventure. Unfortunately, Jane didn't realize what kind of adventure she was signing up for. While on the trail, Jane, Matthew, and Nellie encountered a sinister creature, a creature that just so happens to be well known for its ability to kill unsuspecting hikers. Luckily, Nellie would prove how incredible she was by the end of their trip. We were hiking and I saw the snake two feet from me and screamed. Nellie ran over and went for it. I kept screaming to try and stop the fight, but then Matthew was smart enough to throw his jacket on the snake and pull Nellie away," said Jane. Sadly, they weren't able to protect the brave pup from being bitten herself. Rattlesnake venom is extremely poisonous, and it doesn't take long to do its work. Knowing that Nellie didn't have much time, Jane immediately rushed her to the veterinarian. Once they arrived at the veterinarian's office, Nellie was treated with antivenom. Apparently, Nellie was the first of many animals that will be seen this season. Paternalis Animal Hospital said it was the first bite of the season, and this vet keeps 24 vials of antivenom because he gets a case a day when the season starts," said Jane. Nellie has proven that she's a true hero, and fortunately, she's looking for a human to protect. Unfortunately, Nellie's still looking for her forever home, but with the help of the Final Frontier Rescue Project, the place where she's being fostered, she should have no trouble finding a kind human to love her. She has scars around her neck that suggest she may have been tied up on a wire as a puppy. It's taken her a long time to overcome the emotional scars of past abuse, and she's come such a long way," said Jane.